Welcome back to the Replace Everything on Windows with apps that are not made by Microsoft Chronicles. Today we're looking at another app called JumpList. It is a files application that lets you manage your file explorer in a new experience. Let's see how it works, shall we? So here we are looking at Jump Point. Jump Point over here, if you go to the far left here, you can see the little elements that are included in pretty much every file explorer so far. Um, and the first one I looked at was files UWP. You can see this one here has a favorites, workspaces, OneDrive, because I have OneDrive account uh, drives, my local disks here and my other disks that are attached. Then you have something called app links and settings links. Now, one thing that I can tell you right off the bat is I have not been able to get the app links section to work at all but the settings links works perfectly for me. In fact, I have no idea what app links are and it says it in the store entry that app links are a thing, but I have no idea how to do it. So I hope the developer will reach out to me or I'll reach out to them to show me what that actually means so I can show you guys. But going back to the beginning, one thing that I did not like about the other previous video, the files UWP app was on the sidebar here. It looks nice compared to the original file explorer, but it never showed me any information about how much space I actually have. This one solves that problem that when you click on drives here, you can see how much space in a simple graphic interface that there are. Now, the one thing I can say for this application is, I'm glad that you're showing me all my drives that are attached to my computer or just internal to my computer, but now I wanna see a breakdown of what drives are internal versus what drives are external. Because I can tell you right now that this drive right here is my external drive and my actual hard drive, my external, my other external hard drive is not attached right now. So you won't see that, but they're all kind of jumbled together and I wish that they would show it separately. So that's something I can have the developer add. Other than that, it looks like a nice clean layout. If I go back to home and this is the only way you can go to home, let's start with the menu systems and the buttons above here. So the menu systems and the buttons above here, you have your home, which again, it just gives you like a their version of a ribbon style interface. You got your home area, which gives you your copy paste cut and stuff. If you don't feel like right clicking to do it all, you know, they are there around here. Uh, but you also get it there. Same icons, breakdown of what the icons stand for, copy paste and so on. You have your new workspace button, which I'll show you guys in a second. You have your open, which lets you open up this folder. So let's say I want to open up my let's, let's say I want to open up my I don't know. I want to open up my desktop folder. So you can see that when I click on something, when I right click and you can probably hear it, when I right click, uh, it doesn't actually open up the folder completely. It just kind of leaves it selected. And then you see this pop up, this sub menu pop up. And when you see this sub menu, you got to see more, which shows you everything you can do in it. You can open up in PowerShell, command prompt, add to workspace, um, add to favorites, copy path, and so on. So what I'm going to do so I can demonstrate the future things is I'm going to add it to favorites. And then I'm also going to add it to workspace and I'm going to add it to this dirt workspace that I created uh, before when I was testing the application. So the way you open up this folder is you can't double click it. You have to hit this button here or you have to hit the open, like which is up here. So if I hit this button here, which stands for open, you can see it up there. If I click it, it opens up my desktop folder. Now, one thing that you'll notice with this desktop folder here is that uh, you'll notice that some of the icons are missing and I well you won't notice but I know some of these icons are missing some of my program shortcuts are missing because when I open up my regular file explorer you'll see that I have a number of things on here that are not actually available on here you can see for example Lightroom you don't see Lightroom on here at all uh, if I scroll down a little bit more you'll see your phone I have your phone on my desktop pinned to my desktop that's also not there at all so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there whether he chose to not add uh, desktop shortcuts other than like the actual files that are on your desktop on there but that's beside the point you can see you have details of it you have the path that you're in to get to that point so you're in drive C users my thing and desktop that's how you get to your desktop folder from mine so that's a nice thing another thing that you can't do on here is you can't select like just click on this area and just highlight your directory just like that you actually have to, let's say I want to go to this one times directory. You actually have to select it up here or to make it easier to see, I'm gonna hit drop down there and then you're gonna see copy path. 
and when you hit copy path then you'll notice yes there's no search there's no nothing on this application however uh, if I go back to my file explorer and then I click this and I write you know, I hit my control V you can see that path is there and if I click enter you can see what's in it which is the same thing as what is actually in here you see artboard one is in there too so that's that's kind of an interesting quirk I wish that the developer would just allow me to double click or whatever the functionality is just let me get into it without having to click another step because it just adds another step to it that could be kind of redundant because the overall the application looks nice and it works well but it just adds steps the next thing here we have is view you have view you can open a new window which opens up another jump point window opens up the same thing it shows this icon here you see the same thing that's on there I'm just gonna close that out then you got your tools tab here and tools the, all of these things just open up your actual window settings this settings button also kind of feels redundant too because it's not tools for this app it is tools for your system. So when you click button like this, it opens up your settings. So if I click this, it opens up my Windows settings. It doesn't open up uh, the settings on the app, which is actually on the right side here, uh, and so on. So that's that top menu area up there. Going down more, you see favorites, desktop, and workspaces. So you see the favorites here. If I click it, that's that desktop folder that I added to favorites. And if I go to workspaces, that's that workspace that I created a second ago. Um, and it just it, it works well when you do it but if you want to know how to make a new workspace all you do is go to this home tab up here that I showed you in the beginning I hit this new button here and then I can name a workspace if it named the same let's call it the same thing if I name it the same thing it'll create a generate it'll generate a new uh, a new a new unique name or I can do open existing if I create that workspace so I'm gonna generate a new unique name so then it created it as derp2 because what do you know I already have derp1 so if you see that derp1 and derp2 so if I click that there's nothing going to be inside derp2 but if I go back derp1 here has the desktop folder in it and then the, this display system folder in it so that's an interesting interesting uh, idea in it going deeper in you go back to home once again this home button not up here uh, going back to this home button here, you have all of these icons. It's a ton of icons all over the place. You might be like, what am I looking at? So what you're looking at here is essentially everything you can pretty much like snap into one area on here. This this kind of feels in a way like instead of having to go to your your notification center or your action center is what they call it, or clicking on your start to go to settings, you can just open up your file explorer and do everything. So this jump point file explorer, you can open up shortcuts to folders so like my actual user folder I can go straight to it my desktop folder I can go straight to it like I did before um, if I go back you can see that I can go to my contacts folder video folder and now I customize this to what I actually use so these things may not be the same things that you'll have uh, you can go to your system folders which is like your public folder your documents folder and so on and then you have your settings here and then you have all of these settings and again when you see settings it doesn't mean it's opening up the app settings this is opening up your actual computer settings so like if you want to open up let's say I don't know let's say you want to open up a uh, background personalization if I click it and then I click this button to open it it opens up Windows settings and then it goes to your background personalization area so you see you're in the background section there so closing out of that you see that's what that does and then you have mixed reality and stuff I don't believe I have anything in that and so on so going down further you have your app links again I haven't been able to figure out what exactly that even means um, I can't even I don't know any functionality that I've tried to actually get any app links um, so I'm gonna reach out to the developer and figure that out and I'll let you guys know probably in the comment section or description uh, then you have your settings links which is all the settings uh, things that you can do dial up which is funny uh, cellular and sim if you're I guess if your computer uses cellular and sim it goes to your cellular and sim settings nfc which i don't believe i've even seen on a windows computer before uh wi-fi calling and so on there's a whole bunch of things here that you can do um that that is just there on this application that you can do. and this is like everything you can put possibly on uh this app you know this is everything that you can pin to your workspace and do everything on or just go to home and do so now we're gonna go shift over gears we're gonna go over to the right area here and you have your donate button here and then the app is free but you can donate to the developer to support him uh, and then you can hit the settings button here now when you go to the settings button here 
this is the app settings this is everything in it and it says add and remove dashboard items now if you're wondering what is dashboard it's when you go home and you see it says dashboard so this is everything that's here and i modified some things i turned some things off if i go back you'll see modify dashboard items so you can check off what you don't want to see on the dashboard if it's too much for you to see um, you can check off all the various little elements you can turn on and off this is kind of just keeping everything at a glance so i, I can ensure that what the developer was saying about letting you easily stay in your flow and not have to really look at 10,000 different interfaces like Microsoft wants you to do. Uh, you can pretty much do it in here other than the fact that you're going into your system settings after you click on certain things. But everything for the most part, if you want to go to quick shortcuts to anything else, you can just go open up this jump point app and it'll bring everything to you right front and center. Uh, going through just like that so you see a whole bunch of things I'm not even at the bottom yet and then now I'm at the bottom where it says uninstall mixed reality so there's mixed reality options there's update and security options and I guess these are just like the things that those are in the eye tracker which I don't even have on this computer and then the lastly we have the about button here jump point so this is jump point version 1.5.0.0 you can contact the developer there which is mark you can contact them by clicking this and then open up your default email app and then he uses icons from icons eight. Now, a few things in summary, what I can say about this. So a few things that I don't like about this application jump point. Now, there's no pinning to the sidebar here. And why sidebar, I mean on this side here, whereas on the regular file explorer here, you can pin things to here. So like I, I have extra folders pinned to my sidebar here. On this, you're not able to do anything like that. Let's say I open up my, my desktop folder, right? and I open a new window. Let's say I want to pin say one times to my sidebar here. I can't do that. And that's kind of like, that's kind of difficult to use. And it's kind of annoying. Uh, you can pin it to these things so that they go inside like your favorites, but you can't add anything else to your sidebar. You can't really do any more customization with your sidebar. Another thing that I don't really like is it's slightly confusing just because of um, when you resize anything, you see how it kind of moves around like that. The animation, I understand liking having animations, but it kind of disorients the average person. I'm not even the average person, but like kind of disorients the average person. So it kind of can be really a little confusing. You can't double click on folders. You can, yeah, like I said, you can't double click on folders to simply go into them. When you open up a folder, let's say I want to open up my music folder. I have to right click it and open it up or click up here for open, but I have to open it up. And then once I'm in here, then it lets you double click sometimes. And like I've, I've had some success on it sometimes letting you double click to open. But for the most part, you see how it let me do it just now where I double click album artwork and it worked before. And then now all of a sudden it doesn't work at all. Let's see if I can do with previous iTunes libraries. Nope. Can't do any of that. Another thing that I didn't like on this application is the no search functionality whereas on files uwp and some other file explorers that i'm looking at um, you can search right inside the application if it's a file explorer file manager you should be able to search and you're not able to search on here you're able to do other things like view details on documents see like how much space they take up but you're not able to search it's kind of annoying like if you copy you can't copy the directory you're in so that way you can just paste it up here to jump straight to the directory which keyword jump you know you're not able to do that so it kind of takes you out of your flow when you have to go to other applications and yeah so it's it's overall jump point jump point is a good application it's it's clean it opens up fast granted i'm not using the old computer i used to use i'm not using my razor blade that's in the shop right now i'm using my behemoth computer and that's really fast but I believe that this application runs a lot smoother than files uwp so far that i've seen it doesn't feel like it's so heavy so I recommend you guys taking a look at this application. This is Jump Point. Uh, it's a modern file explorer, or he says it's much more than a modern file explorer, but it is a file explorer that's more kind of fluent. You can see by the background here. It's not as fluent as other things that I've looked at in design, but it is work. It is worth looking at. It's free. You can take a look at it on the Microsoft Store, and uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll put all the links for everything for this application in the links section below, including the developer's info, as always. My name is Kwaku, and uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and take care, everybody.